Hariyum and welcome back to Sanskrit Word of the Month. Today we are going to discuss the meaning of the word Bhakti. It is derived grammatically from the root Bhaja Sevayam or from the root Bhaja Bhaga Sevayoho. In the first meaning it very literally means Seva. Most of you know the meaning of Seva, the sense of service. But seva can also mean to adhere to, to attend to something. So bhakti in this sense has the meaning of attendance, serving, de being dedicated towards something. In the second meaning, it also has the sense of participation, participating within something. Uh, like in the word bhaga, um, the root is the same. Uh, it's also bhaja. So in Hindi we say bhaglena. In the sense of to participate so bhakti also has that meaning grammatically now on a deeper level we have the bhakti sutras of shandilya who defines bhakti as paranuraktir ishwari the ultimate affection or the ultimate we could say attachment but it, it's not such a nice um, uh, word in english um, to ishvara to the ultimate lord or the ultimate ruling awareness or consciousness that is universal and beyond time and space. Uh, Narada, on the other hand, in his Bhakti Sutras, defines Bhakti as Parama Prema, the ultimate love for that which is Amrita Swarupa, of that which is of the nature of immortal, being immortal, immortality. And then says that this means being beyond the dualities of likes and dislikes and being atma rama dwelling within oneself within one's own true nature so it is very interesting how narada's bhakti sutras um, contain this non-dual essence of dwelling within oneself as being the quality of bhakti finally in the bhagavad gita's 12th chapter which is entitled bhakti yoga bhagavan shri krishna defines the true bhakta as being beyond hatred. So he says, Advesta Sarvabhutanam Maitra Karuna Evacha without hatred for any beings. Maitra means friendly, compassionate. Karuna means compassionate. Nirmamo Nirahankara without a sense of mine. Nirahankara without a sense of I. Samadukha Sukha Krami beyond or equal in suffering and in, 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 in pleasure. And Krami means enduring, or one can also translate it as forgiving, enduring the opposites, enduring limitations. And then he says, Santushta Satatam Yogi. And such a yogi who is a bhakta, this comes at the end of the verse, is always content, he's always satisfied with what comes in the present moment that's that's the meaning not looking to the past and not looking to the future too much not thinking strategically but being content with what comes in the present moment thank you very much and i hope that all of us practice these qualities of a bhakta who is dedicated to service and who is dedicated to being content and satisfied within his or her own nature thank you Adiós, that's it.